I'm interesting as to what other meta or, or tech they have developed during this quarantine era. I'm pretty sure that we've seen an influx of new players with new characters uh, de developing new stuff all the all the time, especially in this pandemic era. So it's very nice to see characters that are not very represented online to have their spotlight, especially at these kinds of events. Yeah, honestly, the thing about Peach and Daisy having some really tough time with representation, it's just the execution that the character requires to pull out a lot of those float cancel combos, very but also the yeah. yeah, very, very technical seal, skill ceiling, I would say. And because of that, trying to do that over 9 to 20 frames of lag, eh, not too much to your best, you know, best choice yeah. there. Definitely, and, and it, it takes into consideration that... Uh, if, uh, if a competitor sticks to a character, even with these uh, deficiencies, tells you that they're confident that they've been that they've been practicing. And look, Bans, it's it's looking very very similar. Great counter from Ling Ling there, catching the back scratch basically from uh, Elijah Min trying to get him uh, f uh, getting him from with surprise. I don't know. He was trying to get him surprised or maybe unprepared for it but he was more than ready and now the shield are trying to expand this situation where he doesn't get thrown out but no Ling Ling keeps capitalizing on it and with a turnabout he was trying to fish for something yeah and oh man that backslash has so many active frames and the way that Elijah Min had done that was to try to recover towards the ledge because it will snap to the ledge as opposed to before and it has much more grace on that one so Elijah Min sees that Ling Ling is off the stage here that is going to be that forward air swipe but he's still down a stock here in 100% he's got speed alert activated so Shulk is able to basically outspeed his opponent in terms of neutral but also just in general just movement yeah, and, and you never know when he's going to switch the arts. That's something that is very difficult for competitors to adapt. Great turn up. Dude, that was almost a, a, a two-frame, if not a two-frame. Insane placement from that turn up from, from Ling Ling. Doing a phenomenal job with those projectiles. And now that the defense with the shield Monado is out, he's going to ensure a little bit more of survivability. However, he needs to be very careful because this percentage is no joke. If Elijah Mean Man manages to get the smash art he it's out if he gets to connect whatever hit he might take the stock but no it's Ling Ling who ma manages to catch him with the crown and that was good for Ling Ling to get that grab on Elijah Man and just go for that pummel the more that you pummel Shulk in shield art the faster it goes away very similar to how Joker Arsene works coincidentally I feel like it comes from the way that Joker shield Monado art works so nonetheless it is still good from Ling Ling but also good for Elijah Min to understand if I built up rage with a combination of smash art man I could bring things back here and you see 129 on Ling Ling and you see that 50 in Elijah Min one edge situation here and Elijah Min will definitely come back not in terms of percent but it stocks and that's where it really counts here as long as you hold the stock you have a chance to still make it back He's fishing for it. He's going for those downers, trying to get the two frame, trying to get extra damage by the legend. He's getting them. However, Ling Ling is not letting him be comfortable at any single opportunity. He gets more damage with every interaction. Ling Ling finally connecting again with the crown, taking game number one. Perfect spacing and both of those forward airs taking stocks. I would say it's his best to move so far. Ling Ling knows the spacing, knows the perfect percentage to use it. And it shows because he now gets one on the score in his name. I am looking at the chat saying Shulk is top tier. People have been saying, look, I'm going to be real. As somebody, <laughs> as somebody who has hung out with Nico, who has gone to Nico to so many tournaments, I watched, like, you can quote me on this. You can ask him. I watched Nico go from working at Walmart to being like, yeah, you know what? I play Smash full time now. That is how ridiculous. And he went from being like the most un like top 20 in SoCal in Smash 4 to being the number one player in SoCal in Smash Ultimate. Literally PGR level. The thing is that Shulk has such a skill ceiling that it's almost better to learn other characters instead. Definitely. And I think that's that's the main reason of why I won't be I won't feel comfortable saying, hey, listen, Shulk might be top tier. I don't know. I wouldn't feel comfortable because he he doesn't get enough representation. That that I think that's what 
separates a good shulk from from other characters or top tier characters because you just don't see enough competitors bringing out the true potential that this character has and don't get me wrong this character has infinite possibilities with all of these monados look at that he gets he gets a shield break with with the buster forward smash with smash are not going to be enough to kill but he's fishing for it and he's keeping the aggression on at all times yeah i'm telling you man shulk shulk pretty much allowed nico to escape working from retail so i'm telling you this character you he's it's just that high skill ceiling and then also the yeah. same thing can be said for daisy and peach the character is also not oh, a yeah. pick up and play character you are required to learn a lot of technical things about the character in order to do well that's true. Whenever I get Peach uh, Daisy on random, I don't even know how to recover, man. So I, <laughs> I would have to agree with you. It's it's hard. It's such a hard character. And this matchup makes it, uh, well, this fight in particular, this set, makes it all the more enjoyable for us to commentate and for you viewers, our lovely viewers, to watch because this is something that you don't see every single day. This is a matchup that is not quite represented, not quite a... Um, you don't see it often, basically. So... Yeah. Uh, enjoy make sure to hey if you want to say that shulk is up here in chat say it if you don't agree say it we're here to hear all uh your your reasonings your arguments this is what we do this for yep i also love how every top player of every character always says their character sucks that is like my yeah. favorite thing ever that's the meta that's the meta yeah like you say they suck so that you pray to god that they don't nerf the character like the next patch like the Falco agenda. Should I go there? Yeah, oh <laughs> I'm, my I'm god. I'm myself. So, hey, listen, the Falco agenda is real, and you cannot tell me otherwise, bands, even if you try. Not even you guys in chat. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see here who's going to be the one trying here. Elijah Man on that 179. Still surviving, man. I'm, I'm not even going to say he's trying, man. This man is living with this high percent. And you know, once that Shield Monado Art is back online, he will activate it for some extra time. Oh, definitely. And with this insane kind of percentage, if he gets a good smash art to hit or read, he will take the stock no matter what happens or no matter where you are from the, uh, on the stage because Peach is not a heavy character, so she might not survive if uh, Elijah Man gets a good read, a good position for himself to do great damage, but he finds uh, Daisy's buttocks basically hitting him from behind, getting the stock, and even though Elijah Man is right now in the lead the pressure is on and Ling Ling doesn't seem to be uh, feeling any any remorse he just wants to go in and I think Elijah Man is taking advantage of this actually yeah definitely Elijah Man should definitely be taking advantage of this, this is like I said earlier this is really difficult for basically Peach and Daisy this character loves to be in the air but when a character can call you out virtually for also being in the air but also having a landing hitbox at the same time by character design that is very difficult for you to deal with but that is excellent pressure with that cancelable aerial that we just saw here and Ling Ling tries to take advantage of it smash art is activated we know that weight limit there on this character so any forward air from smash art and it is curtains for Ling Ling stock there and it's good for Ling Ling to also acknowledge that trying to survive as well Oh yeah, Legend been taking a stock incredibly here on the side of the ledge and outside too. Even though Ling Ling was doing a phenomenal job keeping the pressure on at all mo moments, and he was actually drowning or suffocating Elijah Min for a good chunk of the previous stock. However, still the, the Monado arts are going to make it ever so more easy to get rid of uh, it's such a lightweight character, like uh, Daisy in this case. So even though Ling Ling is doing a phenomenal job overall, Elijah Min is using all of his tools perfectly, I would, I would like to say. And even though the neutral game is looking pretty good on both of them, definitely these instances where you have to take into mind who is going to take the, who is going to have a bit of an advantage in matchup wise, it's definitely going to determine who's going to win, basically, in the moving games. Yeah. Elijah Man looking for that backup, but unfortunately not able to poke through here. There is the shield art. That's also another thing that we haven't really had a chance to talk about just because we haven't seen too much about as well. It is the Monado art. Basically, it's called the Monado dial. I'm currently forgetting the name of the tech at this moment in time, but there is a tech that Shulk does have where he's basically able to cancel one art into the other. And if you're not ready, which in many cases you never really are, yeah. he, he can either escape a combo or just outright destroy you for being in that range. 
Yeah, dial storage. Get you. Dial storage. Thank yeah. you. Okay, yeah, you got it. Nice. Okay, so yeah, definitely, uh, Shulk can be a, a force to be reckoned with if you're not prepared. And this is what I think Ling Ling is facing right now. However, the things uh, change, are changing slowly but surely. They just need to be very methodical when it comes to taking or picking an option. However, the smash Monado is out, and with that fair, it's definitely going to be enough to get that stock. And now Elijah Min taking one on the board to even things out yeah nothing short of what i would expect i honestly the funny thing about wi-fi and player skills altogether is it's hard to really judge sometimes who's going to do 3-1 who's going to do 2-1 right all that together i could definitely tell anybody if you put points on elijah man you you might have been a safe bet because you know he's one of those players i do not see him going getting 3-0'd whatsoever, or 3-1. I see Elijah and Ling Ling possibly game five. Ling Ling has demonstrated game one, all the things and all the pressure tools that he's understanding. Not only that, the execution to be able to pull that off on Wi-Fi is still really strong, but also Elijah and able to pull out that show can understand still how strong this character is. I've said it time and time again, at worst, Shulk is top 10, but in my opinion, honestly, I think the character is ridiculously busted. And if you don't it think so, yeah, he could be. I And even Ramses was also a very, very great Shulk player and coach. He actually has convinced players like Mr. R that Shulk is ridiculously busted as well. Yeah, Man, the right right worst hands. Top, yeah, the right hands. In the right. Yeah, he can be destructive, but hey, we see a character swap. Instead of uh, Daisy, I believe, yeah, we're going King DDD. Is he going for the cheese man? Is he going for the for the suck? <laughs> what is he trying to do here? I have no idea, man, but only Ling Ling knows what Ling Ling is doing when it comes to this character swap. Uh, King Deity, obviously, in my opinion, this is this is a mid-tier character, but for some reason on Wi-Fi, he jumps from being mid-tier to, in my opinion, top 15. This character is a menace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. I, I suck against Diddy. I cannot figure him out. I hate that he has super armor on his way up with the up B. It's really hard for me to punish. And yeah, maybe Ling Ling knows this and is able to abuse or maybe take advantage of these situations. Someone in chat was saying uh, the Wi-Fi counterpick. Listen, we, we, we respect and we take those. If he feels comfortable enough to go with King DDD against Shulk, hey, we're no one to judge. Yeah. And like I said, man, Ling Ling's the one with the control in the hands, man. He's in top eight. I'm not. <laughs> so you know Ling Ling's got some stuff there for King Diddy. And I do like that patience because we see that Gordo bounce, but also the yeah. patience to try to punish Shulk from the get up. And every time they're getting trades and, and they're mostly in Ling Ling's favor. And this is something that it's very important consider, to consider. King Diddy is heavy, very, very heavy. So he's gonna survive. You see that forward air with that smash art, that could have been it. However, Ling Ling, fantastic DI. And of course, the survivability that ensures King Diddy's weight, it's definitely going to be helping him on the long run. And there, again, changing aggression from one side of the stage to the other. Yeah. It's very complicated for them. Dude, the Gordo saving him from that smash attack. Insanely, uh, insane, insane luck from Ling Ling there. Getting punished by his own Gordo, but also saved by it. It's definitely something that you don't see a lot. And it, when it does, it's either, you can call it cheese, you can call it whatever, but that shield monado definitely allowing uh, Elijah to survive for a little longer. But that Gordo hit is going to take the first stock with only 117. To, listen, let me tell you, King Diddy is not going to take, he's not going to lose his stock even with this percentage unless he gets hit by a Smash Monado attack. That's the most, in my opinion, that's what makes King Diddy such a menace. Is like that Gordo, the bounce, his patience, his weight, like yep. all, all those things together makes this character like a chore to play against. But not even that up smash from the tail end, even connecting to the main hit, giving Elijah Min hopefully that break in a stock to get in. And like you said it yourself, uh, sir, you are going to see that suck come in and look at how much control Ling Ling has able to come back to. 
Yeah, he's struggling a lot to deal with him, and he finally gets the stock, but I don't know if it's gonna, I don't wanna say it's too late, but definitely something that King Diddy will capitalize the most, it's high percentage. We know that King Diddy's, uh, especially his dash attack, is very good at killing because of that launch angle that is very obnoxious to deal with and very hard to DI, so definitely that uh, inhale from Ling Ling is working just as fine as those Monado arts by the ledge. Yeah, look, look, chat. King Diddy is, I almost feel King Diddy in hindsight is harder to kill than Bowser. Imagine fighting a oh, giant yeah. balloon oh, yeah. Yeah. that throws spike balls at you. And no matter what percent he's at, 180, he will survive somehow. Look at this. Look Wait. at this. The Gordo Bounce hitting him from behind. How dare he get stabbed <laughs> from behind? And this is something that a lot of people don't or take for granted. Like, oh, yeah, Gordo, it's so easy to bounce. It's so easy to deal with. And yes, you might be right. But when you're not ready for it, it's definitely going to take you by surprise. Hit you from behind or maybe from weird angles. And it's very hard to deal with. If Chad was saying that uh, Shulk is top tier, hey, maybe King DDD is top tier as well. I don't know. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm Wi-Fi, this character shoots from mid-tier to top 15. I'm, I'm saying oh, right yeah, now. For sure. <laughs> for sure, definitely. But yeah, things are super even right now, and the Gordo pressure keeps piling up, but it's not working in Ling Ling's favor. It's Elijah Ming now who is putting a lot of pressure with those forward airs and with the Smash Monado trying to confirm the kill, but just not getting it quite yet. Oh no, that's such a rough angle. Yup, that is such a rough... Literally, that forward air range is quite crazy. And Elijah Man had been sent off to the side so far, he had to try to go for that. I felt like he almost should have tried a high recovery just because of the jump Monado R, but he had already burned his jump. So if he had saved it, he would have been fine trying to go for a higher jump. Definitely, it's very hard for Shulk to deal with the pressure that Diddy can put out, whether it's the, uh, the Gordos, whether it... Listen, and we haven't seen, seen this, and I'm quite scared. I don't want to see it, but I want you guys to... Uh, I want you guys to give you the opportunity to admire what the King Diddy of B Spike is. I know, Bans, you won't let me lie. You've been fall you you've fallen victim for those spikes. If yeah, not, yeah. then you're gonna make me okay, okay. I was gonna I was gonna say I you know what happens really <laughs> You, you know what it, you know how it happens in your mindset you're like let me try to hit ddd by grabbing the ledge and then he outbees you and you made that crucial yeah. flaw of like oh no <laughs> i have to re-grab the ledge in which i lose my invincibility in which that up spikes me dash attack. definitely or a dash attack whatever it is king ddd is going to be able to deal a ton of damage and he makes the most advantage out of uh out of out of burst interactions so maybe the pressure that he can put out just like that look at it's making it really hard for Elijahman to recover at any point. And maybe this counter pick, I like this stage because it allows Elijahman to avoid the Gordos or at least make their traje uh, their path, their tra trajectory a little harder to uh, find their target. So it's it's a very, very smart uh, counter pick for the stage from Elijahman as well. Yeah, honestly, having a smaller stage is just does wonders for a character like King to be able to control not only the stage itself, but also coming from the air. The only place he honestly he can fly to the center platform if he if he so choose to with all his jumps. Yeah, this is something that I've never liked about King Diddy or something that I've struggled against. When you bounce that Gordo back to him and he catches it to try to bring it to shoot it back, basically, it's a lot of damage if you're not ready. And it also travels faster. It's so unfortunate for Elijah in here that he didn't get that uh, a lot of mileage from that Smash Monado art. He was very close to getting the first stock, but no, he's still struggling. And now with the shield art, he might be able to ensure a little bit more survivability. However, the percentage are just as high for both of them and whoever makes a mistake first is going to lose the first stock yeah Th that first stock is so crucial especially against a character like king ddd that back throw just is not killing honestly it just hurts but finally the forward throw with the smash heart that's how strong shulk has to be to kill this heavy penguin man 
impossible to deal with if you're not in the right percentage, in the right position. It's just uh, pretty much a, a fail save that King Diddy has, and all of these jumps make it more, make it harder to understand or maybe figure out where he's going to be, where he's going to land. However, Elijah Ming doing a phenomenal job with his Monado with the sword, trying to cover every single angle, but catching him with the up air while he tried to do the back scratch. Yeah, unfortunately, that's really rough. We talked about how strong it is to have a lead over King Dedede, and so far, even though Elijah Min did lose that stock, he looks to continuously have this lead, not getting trumped by that landing air, and able to use that really good up B out of shield to try to come back here. He wants to keep the pressure on at all times. However, Ling Ling is going to take advantage of this lead that he has in the high percentage. He's, I would try to camp him a little bit more, but no, Ling Ling goes in. Even with the Smash Monado Art out, he knows that he can capitalize from it. And even if he tried to DI that, that was a little harder for him because of how much oh, percentage no. he has. But the Jet Hammer is going to take the stock immediately. Ling Ling taking, uh, taking the gamble of charging that hammer. I like to call it the turbo hammer because it's just unstoppable. Once you get it going, you have to pray that he doesn't catch it because he's going to steal your stock away with that strong hit. I, I'm I'm just at loss for words. <laughs> I just this man really came back from that angel platform and just walked into a jet hammer. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's definitely very unfortunate, but listen, charging that up smash with the smashed Monado art, catching his opponent just in time to getting the game four and allowing us to go into a game five situation just as you predicted, Bans. It definitely shows how experienced you are, knowing that with these characters and with these competitors in particular, we were going to be taken to game five. I know you guys in chat are enjoying the shenanigans that uh, DDD and Shulk provide. As well, I hope you're enjoying our commentary too. Yeah, look, I'm gonna sound like the most corniest person right now on the mic. DDD is one of those characters that is thick, not with extra C's, but with extra capital D's Why that not? are literally on his name. And that's <laughs> what makes the character so ridiculously reliable on the Wi-Fi of all things. Like I tell people Bowser, pretty solid on, on offline, right? But incredibly strong on Wi-Fi. On Wi-Fi, I can tell, I just, just call me on this, I'm telling you. Top 15 character on Wi-Fi, for whatever reason it is. He just never, never dies. Has to be. Yeah. yeah, it has to be his weight, it has to be the mobility options and the pressure that he can put out. I personally uh, struggled the most against his dash attacks, and it's something that we haven't seen a lot here from Ling Ling. He definitely uses it, and he has gotten some really good stocks with it, but uh, it's something that I'm not seeing a lot. I would have to argue that it's quite committal when it comes to using it, because of course it's it allows DDD to c uh, cover a, a, a long path along its way but it's also very punishable too so they have to be very patient when it comes to aggression oh speak of aggression coming out from elijah man circ man he is taking he's literally listening to everything you said you know what he said i am tired of ddd's pendejadas i am going in this big penguin has to die today Definitely, and, and he's doing a good job with the Buster Monado, trying to maximize that percentage with every interaction. However, something that I haven't seen a lot is the speed one. Some, no, sorry, the jump one. He hasn't gotten a lot of opportunities. The green one, yeah, it's the jump. Uh, to recover, because every time they find themselves off stage, it's just a trade that it's hard to deal from both of them. And whenever they go out, it, again, it's highly committal. They have to, I would say it's a little less committal for DDD but definitely doing using the right tool on the right moment and just like that switching to avoid losing a stuck to that up air to the shield monado art beautifully done for a Jamin. yeah that almost feels like a character plot armor if you ask me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely something he takes the most uh, the most glory from. He always picks the right option at the right time. And with this, remember, this is game five. This is the last opportunity that they have because both of them are in loser side bracket. Whoever loses this is out of the tournament. Whoever wins advances to loser semifinal to face Mr. E, the Lucina that we were uh, watching earlier. So it's very interesting to see what kind of changes and adaptations these competitors are going to bring 
to this to this blast basically last uh push from this tournament yeah and unfortunately that side special was not going to be good enough coming out from elijah I mean, he will get grabbed 153 man one of these like i said in for Elijah Min, it is getting that first stock and holding that stock as much as possible. For Ling Ling, it is just the survivability you can have. Because, you know, slowly and surely, you living longer starts to no longer take a physical toll, but it takes a mental toll. And the mental damage can be huge because your opponent can get frustrated and upset that you have not died yet when you were quite supposed to definitely makes you pick the wrong options makes you uh, become predictable even so just like that perfect snipe from Ling Ling with that Gordo sniping him out of the way and trying to do the funny the back scratch as he falls from the from the, the angel the angel platform trying to extend his damage or get a start on his percentage but no instead Ling Ling are, are ready for it recognizing that he was going for it and now the busters are trying to maximize percentage very smart from Elijah Min. Yeah, one thing that Ling Ling that we're starting to see with him as a player, but also a deity as a character, is he's just able to, where it was Peach and Daisy, right, you only limit it to jump, float cancel, and float yes. all together. With DDD, you're able to effectively have that those extra jumps to move around Shulk's aerials, and then you're able to try to punish the anlag -like off the aerials. Because even though Shulk has great range, and arguably one of the greatest tools in the game being Monado Arts, he still has end lag to complement that with that sword swing. So you know Ling Ling is punishing those when he gets the chance to. Oh yeah, definitely. And not only that, oh, unfortunate SD from Ling Ling. I don't know if it was the pressure or the sheer fear that that Monado can inflict upon you, but definitely uh, very unfortunate from Ling Ling. One stock away from getting removed from this tournament, the MSM. It's very unfortunate. However, I uh, I really like and, and I, would, I would like to compliment what you were saying. Not only King Dedede gets all of these jump options uh, with, with his five jumps, basically, he also gets, uh, he, he can inhale, you know, he can recover or land with a, with a suction to make it an active hitbox. So he gets a plethora of opportunities. And again, the shield Monado doing God's work at keeping Elijah Ming alive. Yeah, excellent empty hop coming out from Ling Ling. That is a back throw. Elijah Min with great DI, still sensing that out, but also complemented by the blast zones that is going to be callous. Uh, 178 to 97, like I said, the longer you live, it, it will eventually start to frustrate your opponent. They, were, they will be upset that you haven't died yet. Finally, for Ling Ling, that will be a lucky break there in that forward throw. Something had to give. And for Elijah Min, that what will give up here is that up air, getting that stock here, and moving up to play against Mr. E in loser semis. Oh, and great catch from Elijah Min, recognizing 